Well, good to have you back today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson on yesterday. Um, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 11 and 12 says this. It talks to us about the fear of the Lord. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by your days will be multiplied. I talked to you yesterday about the favor of God and making sure if we're going to walk in the favor of God, because I believe the favor of God has a formula. And the formula is, as we walk in the favor of God, number one, we obey his word. Number two, we walk in wisdom and in knowledge. Decisions we make have consequences, so it's important to make the right decisions. I want to talk to you a little bit today as you pursue the favor of God and the wisdom of God. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, God says it's like this. He says, listen, seek me first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be added on to you. One of the things that we have to understand, 2015 has already been carved out. In the foundation of the world, God has already mapped out your life. You just have to align yourself with the promises and the word of God. When he says to seek ye first, I really believe in my heart, if this year we make God first in our giving, I hope you're a tither. I, I pray that you have a first day of the morning with him. First thing in the morning, you make him a priority. The first time of the year in January, we t always take time to get into fasting and prayer and things like that. So I hope you are doing those things. I pray that everything in your life makes him a priority, makes him number one. When you make God number one, then here is what happens. Everything that you have need of begins to come into alignment. In Jeremiah 2 and 13, the Bible says, my people have carved out man-made cisterns. Many times we look to things that are not of God to supply the needs to satisfy us, and it doesn't. But he says to us, listen, he's already carved out and it says hewn out in Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 1. God has already carved out our year. And all he wants you to do is line up with what God is going to do in this year for you. Number one, put him first. That's what Matthew says. If you make God first, he'll always, always look about you. He'll always take care of you because he's God. He's dispatched angels to see about you. He'll keep his heart and mind stayed on him. He'll cover your day, the rest of your day. He'll, rem he'll remember you. He'll never forget you. The Bible says his eyes will be in this place perpetually. If you seek him first, he will guide you to make the right decisions. He'll guide you to the right connections. He'll open the right doors for you. And then number two, as, as you've seen your, your world carved out, you'll remember to pursue God. Make sure that you're going after him. You get up in the morning and you chase after your God because you want to know what is his plan for today? What is his plan for your life? What is his plan for your future? Listen, never get up without your day not knowing what God's plan is for your future. He wants you to be able to understand that your world has already been carved out by God. God has amazing dreams already designed for you. And the favor of God is getting ready to put that all in place for you. You can look forward to what God is going to do. I believe that you're getting ready to see supernatural doors open. I believe that he says that he's going to take you to new places that you've never been, new things that you have never seen. He's going to connect you to the people that needs to open the doors for you in this season. I believe supernaturally as you walk with God, you're going to see that he's already got a plan for you. He says this in Jeremiah, I have a plan for you and this plan is great. And so as you walk in the plan of God, he said, when you seek me, you will find me. And I believe when you find him this year, you're going to find such a special walk with God. I am so excited at the doors that God has opened for me naturally. And I'm believing he's doing the same thing for you financially. Around the country, we're getting ready to go into England, into Johannesburg, into Australia. And these are doors that God has supernaturally opened. And I'm believing he's doing the same thing in your house. What are you expecting from God today? I believe as you listen to the word of life today that you will understand there are so many things that God has already lined up for you and all he's been waiting for you to do is get in position to be able to enjoy it. It's amazing. It's magnificent. And I want you to know Christians should live in a life of abundance, not just things, but amazing friends, supernatural healing. Have you seen deliverance in your
your own life? Have you seen healing in your own life? Because the Bible says very clearly it's the children's bread. And a part of the year of the Lord's favor is seeing supernatural healing, deliverance being brought to your household, children being restored, relationships being restored. God is a restorer and he wants to come into your home and restore the things that have been taken from you by the enemy, restore the things that have been lost during a time of maybe a loss of a job. God is going to bring total restoration to you in 2015. Looking forward to you being blessed and prosperous in 2015. See you again tomorrow as we talk about the year of the Lord's favor.